Welcome on board the Conning's Dam ship. We are going from here to Alaska and I'm so excited. So jump on board. Let's go. Hey travel friend, welcome back to day two of this Alaskan cruise adventure. Let's rewind a bit and see what I got up to after a picturesque road trip from Calgary to Vancouver. In Vancouver, we boarded the ship at Canada Place, which is a touristic viewpoint of the waterfront and pretty cool to see such a massive vessel up close. We then set sail from Vancouver, which was a beautiful experience. The ship gracefully glided away from the port of Vancouver and underneath the Lionsgate Bridge, a postcard moment. And once on board, I explored all the different decks and amenities. There's so much to see and do on this ship, and I ended the night with a family dinner and a warm cup of tea to wake up for day two at sea. Good morning, friends. It is 7.55, and I had a pretty good night's sleep. And I woke up around 5.30 and was like almost awake and alert, but I was like, no, that's only six hours of sleep and I'm on vacation. So I went back to sleep saying, try and sleep till 7.30, but since like about seven, the boats had a small vibration, nothing major, and it's obviously moving. So it's kind of cool to wake up, but it's like just a slight, duh, 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 you feel like you're on this shake weight machine. <laughs> yeah, the bed was so comfortable. Time to open the curtains. I think I'm going to order coffee room service. <laughs> uh and have another day on the boat. We are definitely in open water and I feel it. It's just slightly rough. rooms oh it's so bright <laughs> I'm not ready yet I literally just woke up there are rooms that come without a veranda or a balcony but it is just so nice to have this fresh air I'm putting the like stool I think someone's above oh it's just so nice to have this fresh air coming into my room and first thing in the morning I don't think ever in my life have I ordered room service. So I feel extremely, I will use the word bougie and lucky right now. Let's do it. Hi there, good morning, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Can I order some room service breakfast, please? Can I get the passion fruit yogurt? Just one. And um, a latte with soy milk, please. Thank you so much. Bye bye. They're so friendly on the phone, and I try to really make sure to ask, How are you? Because I just feel for them like when you've worked a little bit of hospitality, I don't know, it just feels different. But my latte is not included in my package, my drink package, so I was cheap. And yeah, I almost gave the wrong room number too. Clearly, I need coffee, and it's gonna be 30 minutes, so I think I'm just gonna relax in bed for a little bit. There's no point in getting dressed yet. <laughs> I guess this is, I'm gonna flip the camera around exactly where I'm sitting. And this is my view. It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. This fresh air coming in, it's cold. It's so crisp and inviting. I'm spoiled. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Uh, I can get the door. Okay, yeah. perfect. You know how to do this. <laughs> so what can I put this time? On the desk is fine. Desk, right? Yeah. Right here. Wow. So we have a whole pot of coffee. We've got plates because it is a Dutch line. It's beautiful with the blue and white pottery. Soy milk. Look how much they gave me. Sugar. And then this is a little yogurt chia seed granola parfait. That looks really delicious. I'm happy. It's going to be good pre-run. Fuel. Also, I might just like keep the coffee for later. I keep forgetting I'm not in like budget travel mode, but and I also put out two US dollars to tip him because I took out cash and like I just feel like these people work way too hard and I forgot to give it to him because I'm just not used to tipping culture after being in Europe. So anyway, next time I have to say give it to your friend. Bon appetit. <laughs> Hold it? Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's like sealed. Oh, whoa, boat is definitely rocking this morning. Come, azuker, e let's get this away, yeah. Wowie, this feels so grand. And if it was warm enough, I would definitely sit out on my veranda, but it's cold out there and the waves are really starting to kick up. Like, I don't know if the camera will pick up what's happening, but like I get this thing called drunken sailor, which the concept is like when the sailors were drunk and they were coming off the ship and they were like, whoa. I'm so drunk y'all, what I say? And I get it even taking the BC ferries, so I'm really worried that I'm gonna be so, not motion sick, just like woozy. Anyway, cheers. Whoa, that's actually really good coffee. Mmm, that's nice and bold, but not bitter. Wow. And a little chia seed, mango, granola. I'll probably head to the buffet after I do my run. And normally I don't eat dairy yogurt. But we're being flexible because we just, you gotta do what you gotta do. And I do appreciate that their portions are smaller. If you're thinking like, oh my gosh, they don't feed you. But I think it's brilliant because in Cuba, I got such a flashback of how much people consume there. Like they would stack their plates being an all-inclusive resort. And here like the desserts are so much smaller and when they spoon you some, it's so much smaller. And I'm, I'm noticing people's plates are finished, not like tons of food waste. So I rather ask for room service again and get a second portion versus getting these huge portions that no one finishes and they're just, they're being so much waste. It's like full fat creamy yogurt. It's good. The only thing that's tricky is this boat's definitely like wobbly today. So sometimes the wind really pushes me. Sometimes I'm going left or right. It's kind of crazy. I just completed a 4K run on top of the ocean. Whoa! It's a little windy, it's a little cold, but nothing a Canadian can't handle. It's so good to get those endorphins running so I can go eat more. So because we're simultaneously moving, it thinks I ran 21 kilometers in 32 minutes. This is literally impossible for me to do, but it's so windy. But it's because we're like geographically moving while also moving around the track. But I estimate it to be about 4K. So I'm pretty proud of it. I'm steady. Time to go camp. Breakfast number two. Just taking a shower after that awesome run. And this would happen to me. I swear like every day I am the most ditzy person and I was just moving my hairbrush and the entire lotion container has fallen off. <laughs> like, like the whole thing fell off and now there's just like size comparison. That's a coffee cup and that's my hairbrush. That's like the size of my hand and it's all down here and on here and all over my uh... <laughs> I'm like do I just leave it for the housekeepers because they're gonna come soon or <laughs> also the boat's really rocking <laughs> Woo! This is different. Wow. Look the door just auto closed. Yeah, the boat's really hitting some high waters But you can see just the towel is like moving on its own. That's not a wind. That's the boat moving I mean, it's definitely like way less than what a sailboat would be but for me This is quite a bit the water is really choppy out there. There's definitely some waves today folks. Whoa I just feel a little drunk honestly Anyway, okay, let's go <laughs> some potato vindaloo, some cabbage, some eggplant, and a salad. We're here for the Tohai tea afternoon. 3 p.m. activity, a little high tea with some finger sandwiches and hopefully some tea soon. Oh, and mom likes the plates. The blue and white Dutch style plates. Oh, they are royal duck plates too. Well. <laughs> yes, you hear us. I 
a little bunch of cake. Me? Probably the most busy activity on the list. Your rule number one is the most important rule, and that is to have fun. We ready to have some fun? Yeah. Fantastic. Well, what is the main ingredient in hummus? Oh, what is the main ingredient in hummus? I think we knew that one. Question number 10. What is the name of the ancient Italian frozen dessert made with eggs and generally less butterfat than ice cream? Ah, uh, yeah, you know. Dessert made with eggs and generally less butterfat than ice cream. Level four. Mom, two more. Come on. I know. Let's go. Two more, says the girl on her fifth floor. <laughs> okay, see you in half an hour. Okay, friends, we're back in my room. It is 5.30 p.m., which it doesn't feel like because it's just beautiful outside. We just had a nice time playing trivia, food trivia. Again, I'm really enjoying the trivia because it's a fun like group kind of all ages thing. We still haven't won yet though. We've been increasing our score every time and um, it was also happy hour at the bar. So we got a couple of drinks with the fam jam, which was so nice. And because I'm about to travel, I've been strategic in my alcohol consumption to make it as cheap as possible. We're gonna get ready for dinner tonight. Tonight's dress is classy and um, we'll see. But every time I walk in my room, it's like the craziest thing that we're moving. I know it's backlit right now, but like, we're moving. <laughs> it's so weird to me. Not sure what I'm gonna wear tonight either because onboard is quite cold because they have air conditioning going, but uh, we'll figure it out. It's something better than jeans. I wanna be Uncle Patty and Birkenstocks, so I'll figure it out. We're going to the dining room tonight, all seven of us. We have general seating, which means we can eat any time between five and 9 p.m. We just have to line up, but that dining room is huge. That kitchen must be huge too, and um, yeah, it's just been really nice. The servers are all incredibly kind, and I just feel like every time I'm always trying to ask them, how are you, and thank you so much, because I just feel like they work really, really hard. And um, I will share most of them are Filipino descent or Filipinos, and we, having a lot of Filipino friends, and my sister works with a lot of Filipinos, we understand that often people are taking these jobs to provide for family back home. And of course, I'm not insanely knowledgeable about this, but I take this really to heart that maybe we are helping improve someone's life and their family's life. So we know tipping can go a really long way and that feels really warm. And so whatever we have to give, we are doing our best to do so. I've already get changed. I only got half an hour and the fan's probably gonna be waiting on me. So let's go. I thought about maybe wearing this vintage secondhand dress I got, but because it's cold, I thought I'd put on my like grandma. It's literally for my grandmother sweater or we could go with pants and this purple top, but let's look into my closet. You can also go with this dress. I have a couple dresses, but I was thinking of wearing these heels tonight. So I'm trying to figure out what heels to wear and I borrowed these from my friend. I'm very much about borrow, not buy, buy secondhand. It's not just possible unless it's an investment piece. So we'll figure it out. <laughs> I think anything would be better <laughs> than this right now. So let's get dressed. I ended up wearing a black dress and my friend's shoes. <laughs> I've changed about six times and everyone came to my room. Time to go. I also packed my purse and a little scarf in case it gets cold. Got my mom's 80s earrings, secondhand dress, friend's shoes, secondhand bag. espresso martini so tasty how was dinner mom delicious yay 
It was really good. I had ravioli. You can hear this. I had delicious ravioli. And the serving size was just perfect. Delish. Good evening. It is 10.48. Although my watch keeps saying 9.48, so I'm so confused. Tonight we go back one hour, so we enter a different time zone, which I didn't even know we would do covering Alaska. Just picked up my tea bag of the evening, cinnamon apple tea, and I did the same thing as last night and I refilled my two water bottles. So this one has hot water. And I'm gonna have my little evening tea. Tonight was so much fun. And I just reiterate, I'm on a moving boat. It's like the craziest thing. We went and had a delicious dinner just in the regular dining room. So it's not an a la carte, which means like a la carte would be that you actually pay for the dinner. This was included. Then we went to see the dance show, which was such a weird thing for me and any of my friends who are watching who knew me from the dance world. It is so weird to finally see, wow, I have not been in focus this whole time. Sorry about that. It has been so weird to finally see dancers on a cruise ship because I've heard for 10, 12 years, oh, you can go be a dancer on a cruise ship. And I really wondered what the performances was like, performers were like, and what the performance was like. The dancers were fantastic. It definitely is like an ent entertainment type show, even though it was contemporary. You know, it's for the masses, talented dancers, young dancers. And yeah, it was good. I of course have my own like thoughts coming from <laughs> years of running a dance studio and being a performer and a teacher for many years choreographer as well so if you didn't know that side of me i used to like be in the dance world in the fine arts and that's actually what my university de degree is in but it reconfirmed that i didn't miss out on an opportunity that that was not a life i want to live because i'm like wow this is what you do for eight months is live on this boat go back and forth back and forth tomorrow's gonna be a big day because we're gonna like surprise my dad with these t-shirts for his birthday so hopefully i'll be able to get capture that on camera but i'm gonna wash this hair get out of my dress and sweater have a little tea rest my throat because i feel like i've been talking so much more than i normally do and go to bed but this ends day two of the alaska vlog and tomorrow we will actually be in alaska at our first stop juno I always want to mispronounce it for like Genuo, where we get to do an excursion. So you'll be joining me for that, but only if you subscribe below. So subscribe to my channel, hit that like button if you are enjoying these Alaska vlogs. We've got five more days to come and I really appreciate you joining this family. Thanks so much for being here and we'll catch you tomorrow for day three of the Alaska vlog on Holland American's Coningham ship. Good night.